So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, as you would have seen from the title, we will discuss a very important question that is how you can calculate total year to date, a total quarter to date, or total M to date values in a direct query connection mode. Okay, and this question can be easily asked in the data analyst or Power BI interviews. So let us discuss its solution. Okay. And before that, if you are new to the channel, watching the video for the first time on this channel, then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos. All right. So let me walk you through the model that I'm using here. We simply have two tables. First one is the calendar table and the other one is the sales table and they are connected to each other using date column with one to many relationship that is desired, right? Right now, our report is in import mode connection mode, right? And now if our report is in import mode and if you have to calculate total year to date, what, you, what will you do? Okay. And this is the data that I'm using in the sales table. Okay. So this is my sales table. If you'll calculate the total year to date for this year 2022, you will get the value as 400. Okay. Let me also show you how we generally calculate total year to date value in a import mode connection mode. So for that, what we have to do, I will go to my sales table, right click and create a new measure. So if I have to calculate total year to date, what I will do, I will write total year to date and, and since we know it's an import mode connection mode, so we can directly make use of total year to date function that we have here, right? So I will make use of total year to date function here. So total year to date. Now the first one, the first argument will be our expression and that is our total sales that I have already uh, created that is simply the sum of sales. Okay. So this is my first argument, total sales that will be my expression and the date column. So I will make use of date column from my calendar table. So this is my date column, close the bracket and we will see the value of total year to date value. So this is how we generally calculate in import mode, right? By making use of time intelligence function that is allowed. I will pull this, if I will pull this measure, let us see the value that I am getting. So as you can see here, my total year to date value in uh, import mode connection mode is, is 400, right? Now the same thing you have to do in direct query connection mode. Now assume this, this is a direct query connection mode. Now you can't make use of time intelligence functions because in direct query connection mode, it is a limitation that we directly can't use total year to date or any other time intelligence functions, right? So assuming this uh, direct query connection mode report, what I will do, I will not make use of these functions, time intelligence functions, and I will try to calculate the total year to date using some other DAX functions. And that is how you can do in a direct query connection mode. So for that, I will again create a measure and let us see how we can do that. So I will name it as total year to date direct. Okay. Now, now we will make use of calculate function here. So assuming this is in direct query, in direct query, we can make use of calculate function in a measure. So we are making use of calculate function here. First of all, so calculate what will be my expression. My expression will be the total sales that is, I have already calculated. That is the sum of sales value so that I will pull it here. That is the source sales. Now in the filter part of calculate function, we will make use of filter function here. Okay. So we'll make use of filter function here right and in the filter function the first argument is the table so in the table we'll make use of calendar table here that we already have in our model so this is my first argument in in filter function now the second argument is the filter expression what expression we will give here to calculate the total year to date and that is the most important part here so for that what we will do so here we will make use of year column that we already have in our calendar table because we have to calculate total year to date. So we will make use of year column that we already have. That, that is this column total year to date year equal to now it should be equal to the maximum of the year that we already have. So this is my calendar year. So, so it will give us the maximum value of the year that we have in our model. So this is how we will compare the year now. So the next thing that we have to do is to make use of and operator here. So and now the date, the date column that we have in calendar table. So we will make use of that should be less than equal to the maximum of maximum of date column. 
that we have in the calendar table right so we'll close the bracket for max and then we'll close the bracket for filter and then we'll close the bracket for calculate okay so now this is my complete measure what i have done here i have made use of calculate function here then the first argument is the total sales that will be acting as my expression then i will made use of filter function here. and what the filter function is giving it is giving me a subset of table where it is going to the original table that is the calendar table and going to the maximum year and then at the same time it is going to the maximum date that we have so in this way we are calculating total year to date in a direct query connection mode now let us see what is the what does the result comes now if i pull this measure and let us see what does the result shows now again you can see our result is 400 and this is what we wanted right how we can calculate this in direct query i will go back to the measure again nowhere i have made use of any time intelligence function as you as you can see here right i have just made use of calculate filter and max function that's it and the existing columns the existing columns like year and date and that is what is required in total year to date now suppose the interviewer asks you how you will calculate total M mtd or total quarter to date so what change you will do here so i, I have already <coughs> created here so for example if he asks you about total mtd so what extra change you have to do you have to just add this line here right this line that i am highlighting so you have to add this particular line of code that is cal calendar table month is equal to the maximum of calendar table of month if you have to go for total m to d mtd right here what we are doing the same thing going to the maximum year then going to the maximum month and then going to the maximum date of that particular month right so this is how for total m to d and similarly for total quarter to date for quarter to date you have to just replace this month with quarter to date right so i hope this is clear to you and if it is asked to you in the interviews anything if it, if it is total year to date or total month to date or quarter to date you will be able to answer this very easily now in the interviews so please do share the videos to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you